Hey, welcome back. It's lunchtime, and today I'm going to utilize that smoked rabbit we made yesterday. And I'm going to make some smoked rabbit street tacos. So stick around, and we'll show you. All right, we have our really good smoked rabbit meat here. We've uh, pulled everything off the bone. I've given some back to my neighbor Carl since he was uh, so good to give us a couple rabbits. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple, about a tablespoon of olive oil in this pan. And we're going to put some of this smoked rabbit in the pan just to kind of crisp it up, kind of like carnitas. And because we only cook this to 165 degrees, there's still some good moisture in this. This isn't really dry like jerky or anything like that. So let's get some browning. You can see our meat is getting some nice crispy edges on it, giving it some texture and some flavor. And while we're doing that, we finely chopped or minced some white or yellow onion, doesn't matter, and some cilantro. And we got some really good hot sauce that uh, my buddy Arnie sent to me. It's a really good sauce made out of habaneros, and he puts jalapenos in it just to cool it down a little bit. So you can imagine there's a little heat in that sauce. So our meat's just about where we want it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with about a teaspoon of lime juice. Just to give it a little bit of acidity. That's going to cook off pretty quickly. And then now we're going to throw it in that bowl right there. So we pulled our meat out. We wiped out the pan. Uh, really good with paper towel. We've spritzed a little olive oil in it and we've placed in here four corn tortillas. Now the street tacos that I'm used to out in California are probably about half the size of these tortillas. But I've yet to be able to find the same size tortillas here in Nebraska. So traditionally your street tacos have a double corn tortilla underneath them. It gives it a lot more good corn tortilla flavor. And plus it uh, holds it together a little bit more. It's not as flimsy as it would be with just one tortilla. The other thing is too, the way they used to pile on the, the toppings on these tacos, you could actually split them up and make like four tacos out of two because you had the extra tortilla shells or you could pull a couple off and then whatever fell on your plate, you could throw it onto one of the, the tortillas that was left behind and have another taco. So we're going to flip these around in the pan and warm them up a little bit. Uh, we're spritzing them with just a little bit of olive oil so we get that little bit of uh, browning going on. And we'll come back and we'll start putting these things together. Street tacos, very prevalent out in California, almost on every street corner. But you learn, uh, you develop your favorite little taco shops that you go to. We had one in our old hometown called Maria's, uh, no, Julia's Taco Shop. There was another Maria's too, but ours was Julia's. Fantastic tacos. Um, they're hard to find out here in Nebraska, but we have a couple outlets. But we've only found one that we really like that's kind of close to the street tacos that uh, we got back uh, in our previous uh, hometown. We have our beautifully cooked tortillas. We just flipped them in the pan a little bit back and forth, flipped them over. And then now we're going to add some cilantro on top of our beautiful smoked rabbit meat. See how colorful that's getting. Nothing better than cilantro on street tacos and Kelly and I do not skimp on the cilantro. We love it. So now we're going to put some really fine, finely chopped onions on there. A lot of times the taco shops will have the onions and cilantro mixed together. All right. Don't spare the onions either. It's an important part. So then you take whatever really good hot sauce you have. And you want it a little spicy to hold up to the rest of that taco. All 
All right, there's your smoked rabbit street tacos. Fantastic meal right there. Really good stuff. Now the traditional serving of these tacos that served, they put them on a plate and they cover them with foil and you, you take them away. And when you uncover it on the plate with the tacos, you'll have a couple slices or whole radishes. Uh, you'll have a pickled jalapeno with some, maybe some pickled carrots and a uh, slice of lime or a segment of lime. And then you take that lime and you squeeze it all over the top of your tacos and chow down and you eat those other vegetables with us. I'm not a big fan of radishes, so I've never ate those. But I'll sit there if the uh, hot sauce that they use or the salsa they use isn't quite hot enough. I'll take a little bite of that jalapeno as I eat. And then I usually I just eat the pickled carrots when I'm done. They usually got a little spice to them. They're a little warmer. But that's the traditional way to serve them. All right, we're getting ready to dig in. Uh, I like my favorite Mexican beer with my street tacos. If you haven't tried this brand, I highly suggest it. It's so much better than your average Mexican beer. It blows Corona out of the water. Corona is really skunky flavor. This is really good Mexican beer. So street tacos, if you love them, you're going to like these. You can make, some, make them with any meat. Uh, beef, pork, whatever, chicken, shrimp. We showed you some fish tacos the other day with a little bit different sauce. But uh, go crazy with these. They're not hard to make at all. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you guys. We're going to show you a couple more recipes with our smoked rabbit here in the next couple days. So stay tuned. See you later.